lastly, the camera that I use, the beautiful camera that I use, is a Canon 80D. I upgraded from the 70D and before that I think I was at the 650D. The 80D is by far my favourite. My next piece of equipment is my Rode Video Mic Pro. So it's a shotgun mic, it sits on top of my camera and it makes sure that all of my audio is captured clearly. It's super easy to use. The one fault that I would say it has is that I always leave it on. So I actually do have an upgraded version which is the Rode Video Mic Plus that I believe turns off automatically when it doesn't hear sound for a long period of time. That way you can avoid all of the lost batteries when you accidentally leave your mic on after filming. Overall it's a really great mic for sitting talking videos. I've also used it for a video that featured two people talking and the quality seemed fine. I plug it directly into my camera and I don't need to do any more than that. You'll find if you have a DSLR that the audio quality within the camera is not very good and you will need to upgrade to a mic at some point in time. So the lens that I most commonly use is the 18 to 35 millimeter Sigma art lens. I love this lens for so many reasons. It just gives this really nice wide shot, really crisp and clear. I also just really love Sigma lens. I love the Sigma brand, which is why I have a second Sigma lens, which is the Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4 lens. So this is an awesome lens for getting really good b-roll shots with really strong depth of field that are really beautiful and dreamy. Its biggest downside is that it has a cropped frame so if I ever want to use it for sit down videos I literally have to position my camera so far away that I actually can't properly see the viewfinder. In saying that it probably doesn't help that I'm at a point where I'm like on the verge of not being legal to drive so my vision's really poor so I could film a whole video and it'd be blurry and I wouldn't even know I wouldn't be able to see it in the viewfinder you get nowhere near as much in the frame as you do with this camera I'll give you an example so to give you an example I've just taken off my 18 to 35 millimeter and chucked on my 30 millimeter it's so beautiful you can see look at this depth of field it's beautiful however it's the same distance away from me as this one was so it's a very crop sensor and that's what I wish someone had told me before purchasing this lens because I found it a real downfall especially if you're working in small spaces it's a pain so the tripod that I use is the Magnus VT 4000 it's a good tripod once again I just usually film sit down talking videos there's not really much that my tripod needs to do even my b-roll it's usually just a still shot so I won't talk too much about my tripod so the vlogging camera that I use is my Canon G7X so I use this whenever I want to do day in the life videos or whenever I'm shooting b-roll and I just kind of can't be bothered to set up my big DSLR camera I'll use this it has beautiful quality especially when you're out in the natural light it's stunning it has the flip screen if you've looked into best vlogging cameras to buy G7X will have come up. I think this is the G7X Mark II as well, if that makes a difference. Personally, I adore it. If I was ever to need another vlogging camera, for some reason, I would definitely rebuy. For lighting, I use my massive window in front of me to give me light. So right now I'm just sitting in front of a big window, light shining in naturally, and it gives it a really beautiful effect. The next piece of equipment that I have is an extra battery. Honestly, this is going to come in so handy if you film a lot of videos, especially if you bulk film. So right now I have a battery within the camera. I also have a battery that is charging in the background should I need it later in the day. It is so handy. When you run out of battery, you'll realize how handy this is as well as an extra memory card. So I have two memory cards and I'm constantly swapping in between them. So when I fill up one memory card, I just have another that I can slot right into the camera and continue on. This is really good, especially if you film longer videos, if you film lookbook videos, it's pretty much essential. My editing program that I use is Final Cut Pro X. I did used to use Adobe Premiere when I had a Windows computer. Final Cut Pro was absolutely one of the best investments that I've ever made, as well as upgrading to my Mac computer in general. I find Final Cut Pro X is so much easier to use, so much more intuitive, especially when you're not making film production video. I don't think that you need all of the bells and whistles that Premiere Pro has. I just find Final Cut Pro is so much quicker and so much more streamlined and user-friendly. However, that's totally up to interpretation. I don't mean to shame any Adobe Premiere users out there. I get it. If it's your thing, go for it. I'm just more of a Final Cut Pro X kind of gal. For my video planning, I use Ulysses. Ulysses is my favorite writing app in the whole entire world. It's just so simple, so minimal. It's very, very me. If someone that knew me well were to pick me a writing app, they would pick Ulysses. It's just so simplified and so minimal. I put all of my video plans in there and within it, I also have templates that I can use that I can just duplicate the templates whenever I want to write a new video plan so that I'm ensuring that I'm ticking those same boxes every single time. I'll have everything that I mentioned in this video linked below. If you like this video you're probably going to like my video on the five best things that I have done for my YouTube channel. It'll be linked on the screen and down below. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you soon.